I'm quickly going to show you how to clean your grainy footage from this to this. First of all, go to redgiant.com, click on all products, and now scroll down and click on Denoiser 3. Now, first of all, check if your computer and editing software you're using is compatible. If it is, let's move on. Now, as you can see here, they are showing you can achieve from this footage to this. Now, to purchase a full software, it will cost you from your pocket $199. And for $99, you can upgrade or go for academic. There is a money back guarantee if you change your mind though. Now, since they are offering a free trial, I believe it's 14 days without any watermark. So let's go ahead and download it. Once you have downloaded, add the file in your effects panel. Now click on the footage, you want to get rid of the noise grains. Go to the effects tab and type in denoiser and there we have it. Drag and drop onto the clip you want. Now in the effects control you will see the denoise panel. To eliminate the noise grains you can scroll up or down on how much you want to reduce. In this case I will want it completely gone. So I'll keep it to the max, which is 100. These are just my settings for this clip. As for your footage, it may be the same or different. Smooth colors, I'll leave that on 20. Preserve detail, I'll leave that as default. Now on sharpen, I'll leave how it is, as I have a better way to sharpen and bring super HD quality to the footage. On radius, up that up to three. Once you're happy with everything, press enter to render. Rendering will take some time, so I'll cancel this and I'll show you the footage what I've done before. Now, if you want to add the same denoiser effect on another clip or onto all, right click on the one that has the effect, copy, right click on the clip, click on paste attribute, make sure denoiser is checked, click OK, and now that clip is grain free. You can see how clear the footage looks now. I couldn't thank Red Giant enough as he has saved my footage I was filming for the project. Now let's boost the quality in detail from this to this. Keep an eye on the desserts and you'll see a change. So on your clip, hold on Alt and drag the clip up to duplicate it. In effects panel, search for tint. Drag that on the clip above. Change the blend mode to soft light. Opacity to 40 or to your desired level. Now in the project panel we will add a new adjustment layer. Drag that above the clip and extend. Now go into effects and look for unsharp mask. Apply that onto the adjustment layer. On the effects control, change amount to 250. Now apply the unsharp effect again and change radius to 0.5. And finally, add a new adjustment above the previous one. Extend it. Go to effects. Apply the unsharp mask.
Now in the effects control, change the opacity to lighten to 20%. the amount to 20 in sharp mass. There you go guys, you are done. Once you're happy with the quality, click enter to render. Now you can easily notice the difference. So guys, we went from this to this. And now a super HD quality that you and your viewers will be happy with. This has definitely saved my day of work and I hope it can do for you too. I'll catch you in the next one guys. Peace.